Reading from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Madhya Leela chapter 15. This is the story of the uh, Raghava Pandits. This is called the Coconut Leela. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was at visiting Sarvabhoma, or rather he was having lunch at Sarvabhoma's house in Jagannath Puri. And while he was sitting with all the devotees, Lord Chaitanya was glorifying one devotee named Raghava Pandit. And, it, and these verses are all the direct and personal words of Lord Chaitanya. So he says, Shuna Nari Narekelera Kata. Narekela means na- Nariel. Narekela means coconut. And Kata means like Harikata, Lila Kata. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just listen to the coconut kata. <laughs> like we have Hari kata, listen to the talks about the coconut. So this whole Leela, he's describing, by describing this pastime of Raghava Pandit and his offering of coconuts, he's teaching so many aspects of Vaishnav Sadachar and Bhakti Bhajan. And we heard yesterday how much care and attention and enthusiasm and endeavor and eagerness which Raghava Pandit put into his service. We heard that Raghava Pandit, he had a coconut grove near his house and he had hundreds of coconut trees. So it was easy for him to procure coconuts for Takarji Seva. But he, when someone would come to him and say, Raghava, do you know that there are some very good coconuts 20 miles away? 20 miles away. He would go there. He would go 20 miles away just to get those good coconuts for Takarji's pleasure, his deity's pleasure. And the coconuts locally were costing like five, what was it, five gundas. And these coconuts that were being sold 20 miles away were selling for four panas each, which means it's some type of currency, monetary value. These coconuts that were 20 miles away were more costly they cost more. And he, had, and he and it said when he heard about it, he was very eager. And eagerly and with great endeavor, he ran 20 miles away just to get some good coconuts for Takarji. Although right next to his house, he had hundreds of trees with millions of coconuts on it. So this shows how much a devotee, how much endeavor a devotee can undertake to please his Lord. He never thinks that I, he's offered the, the best thing. He always wants to offer something better and better and better to his Lord or his pleasure. So then we heard he was about to make an offering and some of his servants were bring one servant was bringing ten coconuts to offer to Takarji on a tali. And ten coconuts is quite heavy. Ten coconuts weighs maybe five kilos. That's a heavy thing. Four kilos. So when he was waiting to give these coconuts or present these coconuts to Raghava Pandit, he held a co- the tray of coconuts, the tali, in one hand and he put his hand up like this above the door. He put his hand just to lean there, to change his posture, to relax. And there was some dirt up there in the doorway. And then he then he came back with that hand and he touched the tray. And that's where the story the story leaves us there. Dwarera upar bite teno hatadila se hate fala chunila pandita dekila Raghava Pandit, he saw that the servant touched the ceiling above the door and then touched the coconuts with the same hand. Pandit Kahi Dwari Loka Kari Gatayate Tara Paraduli Uri Lagi Uparabite Then Raga was seeing this that he touched this doorway which was had dirt and smoke or whatever. He said, Listen, people are always coming and going through that door. The dust from their feet blows up and touches the ceiling. I mean, in other words, people are walking barefoot in and out of the deity kitchen or in and out of the house, and there, there's dust on their feet. And he's and who would who would ever think of it? Who would ever think of this? Who would who would ever even see this? Well, there's dust on their feet, and that dust is rising up and collecting on the ceiling. And then you put your hand up there just to relax and touch that dust, and then you with that foot dust from the Devotees, you touch Takurji's tray. 
Now you contaminate the tray. The tray is already like bhoga. I mean, it's a prasad. It's already offered to devotees. So then he says, Se bite hatadiya phala parashila krishna yogya nahi phala apavitra hoila After touching the ceiling above the door, you have touched the coconuts. Now they cannot be offered to Krishna because they are contaminated. Just see how strict, how strict he was in his service to his Takraji. How clean. 